One of the absolute unsung heroes of, of Maine in the Civil War was the Adjutant General John Hodgson. He was the only Adjutant General Maine had for the extent of the war. We had three governors during the war, but each recognized that Hodgson was uniquely valuable. Meticulous in keeping records, insistent upon their accuracy, thought their value would stand the test of time, and with the governors, was the answer man for everybody. Municipal, personal, family, military, all the questions that came in to Maine at the time, because Maine was a young state, were reviewed by the governor and the adjutant general for you know, the precedent value, lasting value, what do we do with this? And one of the things that Hosden realized was if Maine was going to pour so many of its menfolk into battling the Civil War, that he needed an accurate record. And part of that record came in one of the developments of that war, in that the technology of photography took off. As photography developed, one of the things they wanted to do in particular was to have a record of the men who served, particularly the officers. And in 1864, Hodgson sent out a word to every officer serving from the state of Maine would they please submit to his office a carte de visite, the visitor's card, which was in fact a head and shoulder shot of a variety depending on the photographer. And the men would send them in and Hosden would keep them. And they retained a value to this day. They became, if you will, the first collector's cards where you could actually see what these guys looked like. Thousands of them came into the possession of the adjutant general and thousands more were in circulation, but the fact that they held the value then and retained the value over time makes those carte de visites, the CDVs, of immense importance to the history of Maine. Thanks for watching, and don't miss a single episode as we delve into the fascinating history of Maine's role in the Civil War. Please like and subscribe now